Roblox is full of different types of users that use the platform daily. Some of these figures are well liked in the community, while others are downright despised. The specific opinions that one has of these users will vary from person to person. In this video, I'll be going over the top 7 most infamous Roblox users in the history of the platform. This will cover any user that has existed on the platform, terminated or not. As always, make sure to hit the like button and to subscribe to the channel so that I know you like these videos. So, without further ado, let's get into it. For the first entry on our list, we have I'm Sandra. For the people that don't know her, I'm Sandra is a Roblox YouTuber that was known for her channel of the same name, being a game developer, and being the owner of two separate Roblox groups, Beauteous and Food Productions. Her account was terminated in 2018 due to various reasons such as buying Roblox items for real US money and glitching the inventory API in order to buy more items. When I'm Sandra was terminated, she went onto Twitter to complain about it, saying that quote, I never bought or sold limiteds or Robux off site, I never bought it clothing, and quote, I did not add 100k followers to my new account. The community reaction to I'm Sandra's ban was mixed, with many people believing that the termination was justified because Sandra did in fact commit me previously mentioned actions. She has since apologized and stated that she has accepted her ban. However, she got into drama AGAIN in January of 2019 when she pretended to be in a relationship with Natrix which made the community lose trust for the both of them. Nowadays, Sandra isn't doing that much and hasn't gotten into that much drama. She hasn't uploaded on her channel since May 10th, 2020, and the like to dislike ratios show that there are people who still haven't gone over I'm Sandra's past dramas, which is fair. One thing's for sure, I'm Sandra is an infamous name amongst the Roblox community. For the next entry on our list, we have Sonic the Hedgehog XX. Sonic the Hedgehog XX, or Sonic for short, is a Roblox user that is best known for his game living a 5 star island resort and being the owner of Fear, a Roblox military clan group that has been owned by Sonic since 2010. He hasn't gone without controversy though. For example, his game living a 5 star island resort has been claimed as being a copy of original 5 star resort along, along with him using free models in the game. Sonic made his account on September 23rd, 2008, so over 12 years ago as a recording this. Sonic's main group, Fear, has also been criticized for multiple reasons, such as a majority of the player count being Sonic's alternate accounts, along with it being a quote, Sonic fan club, due to the group member count being people that wanting to meet Sonic. At one point, Fear was the largest group on Roblox, but has since fallen off from that title, which now belongs to B-Swarm Simulator Club. Sometime in 2010, Sonic's account was terminated for whatever reason. However, a few days later, his account was unbanned. To this day, it is still unknown if Sonic was actually terminated due to that info not being available. People still use this in arguments on Roblox though. Sonic hasn't been doing much these days other than updating his game sometimes. The hate towards Sonic has died down along with the popularity of living in a 5 star island resort as it hasn't hit the front page of Roblox since 2012. For the third entry on our list, we have Christina8787. Christina8787, or Christina for short, is an infamous Roblox user that is best known for her feud with fellow Robloxian Zhao Zhao Man, and having something against Iron Cafe. Christina's biggest game, Club Christie, has been criticized for the use of free models and the way it was advertised. Christina's account was made on August 28, 2008, so over 12 years ago as of recording this. Christina later made Club Christie on the same day of her cr account's creation. She advertised the game in 2009, but not in the way that one might think. In her ads, Christina insulted the Iron Cafe and its creator, Iron Enforcer, stating that her cafe was better than his. This brought a lot of hate towards Christina, and eventually led to her being inactive from 2013 until 2015. Christina later made an account named Plur Princess, which is known for the Pop Club. Christina made this account to avoid hate, and no hate went towards her until it was revealed that she owned the account, in which more hate got sent her way. Nowadays, Christina hasn't been doing much other than updating both the description and certain parts of Club Christie. The hate towards Christina has died down since the drama happened, and she seems to be doing well for herself. For the fourth entry on our list, we have MSE6. 
MSE6 was a former Roblox admin that mainly dealt with the off-topic and Roblox talk so subforums. MSE6 was not well liked by the Roblox community, but mainly claiming that she abused her admin powers by doing actions such as unfairly banning people or creating unusually long bans. She was the main target when it came to the unusual amount of unfair bans during the time she was active. This has even led to people claiming that MSE6 was being an authoritarian Roblox admin. MSE6 made her account on July 3rd, 2008, so over 12 years ago as of recording this. She was shown to be lost online sometime in 2015. However, something happened to her account. On April 27, 2020, MSE6's account was mysteriously terminated, despite being inactive since 2015. Various theories about the termination have popped up, including ones such as the account being banned to prevent impersonation or her powers being abused in case it was ever compromised. If the second occurred, the account would end up being terminated anyways. Kaneko Kitten already made a video talking about MSC6's ban, so make sure to go watch that video. It is currently unknown as to what MSC6 is doing these days, or if she's even playing Roblox anymore. Regardless, the legacy of MSC6 will forever live on. For the fifth entry on our list, we have Mr. Stratclaws. Mr. Stratclaws, or Strat for short, is a Roblox user that is infamous for creating the Roblox gambling site RBX Flip. As one knows, it is illegal, at least in the US, for people under 21 to partake in gambling activities, which is what Strat was promoting. Strat made his account on November 22nd, 2017, so less than three years ago as of recording this. The entire situation regarding RBX Flip began when Roblox YouTuber GreenLegoCats123 made a video explaining what RBX Flip is and criticized it. The following day, fellow Roblox YouTuber Kaneko Kitten also made a video criticizing the site. For whatever reason, Strat told his Discord server to dislike those videos because he can't handle the truth. This created backlash against Strat, but it wouldn't end there. Strat has also gotten into controversy for getting several figures terminated in the Roblox community, such as Dragonwant, Flamey50, and Melancholy. The story also doesn't end there though. Sometime in either 2018 or 2019, Strat's account was terminated, putting an end to his actions and causing people to celebrate. It is unknown as to what Strat is doing these days, or if he's even playing Roblox anymore. Regardless, the hate for Strat has died down and everything has seemed to go back to normal. For the sixth entry on our list, we have Julius Coles. If anyone here has been in the community for a bit, then they might recognize this name. Julius Coles was a Roblox developer that is infamous for creating the game Town of Robloxia slash Have a Family in the Town of Robloxia, which is a copy of 1Dev2's Welcome to the Neighborhood of Robloxia. He also stole other uncopyrocked Roblox games and claimed them as his own work. Over all of Julius' accounts, he accumulated a total of 33 million place visits, with 20 million of those visits being on Julius Coles V2. Julius' first account was made on March 28, 2013, so over 7 years ago as of recording this. He also had a Twitter account under the handle HJKOH, but was terminated due to Julius making death threats against Roblox. He now has a new Twitter account under the handle RealJuliusCole. Town of Robloxia has constantly been republished under Julius' new accounts, and would claim that all of the models are completely original, despite all of them matching models that other people made. The original version of the game is still up, but has not been updated since the account was terminated a while ago. Despite all of the hate, these Town of Robloxia games has always had more likes than dislikes. Julius is also known for his YouTube channel under the same name, Julius Cole, which has over 50,000 subscribers at the time of writing this. A lot of the videos on here are hate videos directed towards Roblox and other people in the community. These days, Julius spends a lot of time on his YouTube channel, uploading clickbait videos and other types of content. It seems like Julius is doing these videos as a joke, but it's not 100% confirmed. The hate towards Julius Coles is still prevalent in certain parts of the community, but has since died down. For the seventh and final entry on our list, we have Jared Valdez 4. Perhaps the most infamous name in Roblox history, Jared Valdez 4 is a Roblox user that is infamous for popularizing the act of plagiarizing Roblox games, which led many people to hate him and become a controversial figure. Jared made his main account on July 6, 2008, so over 12 years ago as of recording this. Jared was able to steal copylocked games by using exploits to trick Roblox Studio into allowing him access to the games. 
Some examples of games that Jared stole include Paintball, a copy of Daxter 33's game of the same name, The Infection, a copy of Stealth Pilots The Undead Coming, and Building with Friends, a copy of Roblox's Welcome to Roblox Building. These were not the only things that Jared was controversial for though. It was also known that Jared would copy and steal ownerships of groups, which is a very bad practice. One example of this is Studio Jair, which is a copy of Studio Air. The creators of Studio Air threatened to sue Jared for copyright infringement, but never ended up doing so. Jared also took ownership of a Roblox group named Rebel Squad, and the group was accused of plagiarism. The only reason that Jared's groups grew was because he promised free VIP to those who joined his groups, and who wouldn't like free VIP? At one point, Jared had over 17.8 million place visits, which was the highest amount of place visits that one could have on Roblox. In total, Jared has a total of over 50 million place visits across all of his accounts. Compared to today, this is not too many place visits, but still impressive for a single user. Nowadays, Jared is occasionally active on Roblox and returns to the platform on February 4th, 2017 and multiple times afterwards. He has come out as gay and had COVID-19 in April but has recovered now. This makes him one of the only prominent Roblox figures to have and recover from COVID-19. Other than that, Jared seems like a cool person and has apologized for his past actions on Roblox. He also has a YouTube channel, Jared Valdez, with over 3.53k subscribers at the time of writing this. So, he's better off today than he was years ago when he was an infamous name on Roblox.